blood cell development begins a few weeks after conception, when hematopoietic stem cells arise and differentiate. This process changes throughout our lifetime, from pre-birth through to old age, and disruptions to this process throughout development can result in leukemia. Over half of infant leukemia affects the lymphoblasts. This is known as infant acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or infant ALL. The most common genetic drivers of ALL in infants under a year old are rearrangements in the mixed lineage leukemia gene, or MLLR. MLL rearrangements occur in up to 80% of infant ALL, compared with just 2-5% to of childhood ALL. Compared to older children, infant ALL is more aggressive and harder to treat. Infant ALL is distinct from older childhood ALL in that it usually requires only one genetic hit pre-birth, to develop into aggressive, chemo-resistant leukemia. Childhood ALL, meanwhile, mostly develops after a second, postnatal hit, on top of a prenatal genetic driver. Studies indicate that MLL-rearranged infant ALL originates during fetal hematopoiesis. So how do prenatal blood stem cells provide a better environment for MLL rearrangements to induce infant leukemia. The Childhood Leukemia Research Group at the University of Oxford investigates the link between prenatal blood development and the biological origin of infant and childhood ALL. The research aims to identify and characterize the cell of origin of MLLR leukemia. This will allow development of faithful models of the disease to better understand leukemia initiation at different ages. Carrying out mechanistic molecular studies using these models, the research aims to identify key disease drivers, allowing the discovery of new treatment targets, for example the PROM1 gene, which is upregulated by MLL rearrangement in leukemia.